everyone. So today I am going to be hopping on a plane to Vancouver and I am very excited because I am meeting Emma Chu, otherwise known as Vancouver Foodie, in real life. Um, I've always been a little low-key jealous of Emma because based off of her feed, it seems like she's just eating delicious, tasty looking food all the time. Seems like Emma really knows the best spots in Vancouver. One of the things that I asked Emma um, if we could go try it together is uh, boba tea because I feel like I haven't really gotten a lot of variety or just great options here in Manhattan. So I'm very excited. I have a plane to catch. I have to get ready. So I will see you and Emma in a bit. Bye. I'm on my way to meet Heron for the first time and she has no idea what's in store because I'm gonna take her to three different boba spots in one day. So I'm born and raised in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and this is the place, besides Taiwan that is, the land flowing with milk and tapioca pearls, boba. And with boba, there are a ton of varieties. I mean, there's milk-based, there's fruit, slushies, you name it. But because we can't try so many all at once, we're going to focus on one, the one that is all the rage right now, and that is brown sugar pearl milk. So is it boba, bubble tea, tapioca pearls? It's all interchangeable, really. I would love to tell you more, but I'm just about to arrive at the first stop. So let's go in. Our first stop is Yifang Taiwan Fruit Tea. Yifang is popular because people are keen on the vintage interior style and also the authentic uh, Taiwanese flavor. Oh, Yif Yifang's pearls are great because they're like the just right amount of chewiness and they're not overly sweet, but they're also not plain. Our top selling drinks would be Yifang fruit tea and uh, black sugar soft roll milk and milk tea. The black sugar pearl milk is only made at 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. Tapioca pearls imported from Taiwan are stirred into a boiling pot of water and cane sugar. The pearls are ready to go when they start floating to the top. A generous amount of dark sugar makes the pearls complete. Then, the pearls are topped with ice and milk to create a pretty gradient. We will never check the brown sugar for customer. We will present it to them and probably let them take picture first and then we will ask them to check it before they drink it. So this, <gasps> this by far is the most popular drink here. This is the one that people line up for. This is the brown sugar soft pearl milk. The brown sugar soft pearl milk. Yes. How does one drink this? Do you just shake it? Or? There's this one word they call mud flip, mud and flip. it's a one flip kind of scenario. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, I see. It is trickling down. Yifang specializes in simmering it over time so that the pearls actually soak up that flavor, that rich caramelized flavor that brown sugar actually has. Yifang was like one of the first places to actually bring it over from Taiwan. Is there a way to like stab it so that the whole, this isn't just like a gaping mess? Yep. Like and is, what's the trick? The trick is to have confidence. Confidence is key. That's where, that's where <laughs> I relax. She lacks confidence. <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna teach her a lesson right now. Okay. Confidence, one, two, three. Yes. Confidence. The confidence. key to everything. Cheers. This is, one more time, the brown sugar milk pearl tea. How'd I do? Brown sugar soft pearl milk. <laughs> mm. Ooh, that's nice. That's Dang. nice. So I definitely get the brown sugar taste. Mm -hmm. Like kind of like a caramelly taste. Yes. And you know what's kind of been simmering there for a while? Or else you won't have that deep caramelized flavor. It is flavors. like burnt sugar kind of. Yes. Yeah. I that's like the that. key. Okay, so boba okay. now? Yeah. I'm scared because you know like when you drink the boba sometimes it just like shoots to the back of your throat <laughs> and then you choke and then you, your life like flashes before your eyes. Boba is a treat yourself kind of dessert drink. Right, but it's also like you could die. Yeah. You could choke. Yeah. But it's a risk you're willing to take. Exactly, it's worth it. Okay. All right, let's do it. Okay. 
Mm. Oh wow, okay. Mm. Soft, dense, chewy. So regular boba kind of just is like a blank slate flavor, right? It's just more of a texture thing. Pretty much. But because this was simmered in the brown sugar and cane sugar, right? It comes um, out even more. There's more flavor. Yeah. And that's why it's so popular. Yes. Got it. Boom. Our second stop for today is Xing Fu Tong. I hope I pronounced that right. Spot on. And what are they most known for? They're most known for their stir fried brown sugar pearl milk. Stir fried. Stir fried. I've never seen boba stir fried. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Black sugar is the best store to get it. Yeah, I think it's the best. The shop stir fries the pearls to get a more pronounced char flavor. The dark sugar pearls are ladled on the rim of the cup, topped with ice and milk, caramel salted cream and a dash of more brown sugar add an extra element of flavor. As you can tell this lid, you don't have to have <laughs> I mean, there's a nice hole at the top, so, uh, bless. Ooh. I want a sorority taste test. Okay, go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That was like 19, okay, but sure. that's okay. <laughs> I, want a bite. I don't know, which one do you like? Do you, do you like this? Any critique? I am more of like, I like the roasted flavor of having it soak in the brown sugar over time. Whereas this one, they sort of just like put it together, whereas they kind of do have that show aspect at the front, but then Yifang cooks it a little longer. It, the chewiness and the softness of the pearl depends on how long you cook it. So it obviously starts off very hard and dense, and the longer you cook it, the softer it gets. Yep. So does this stir fry is it like fully like, Cooking it to the point where it's like soft and squishy, like that even. Yeah, no, I think they cook it in the back first and then they just incorporate it, it on the spot. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What wins for me here is that top. That mm. salted. That's what sets it apart. Toffee cream is like delicious. They do, it's almost like a creme brulee topping where they just will add a little fire at the end with the brown sugar. Our third and final stop is Wanzo Tapioca. Wanzo is known for its different flavored tapioca pearls. The shop also makes the pearls in-house. Still, the brown sugar dirty mix is a top seller. I come here at least once a month. I like the, uh, the pearls, that everything's like handmade. And the, it's probably the best uh, brown sugar tea in Back River. I like Zing Fu Chang, but this the best. It's spilling everywhere. It starts with homemade dark sugar tapioca pearls, ice and milk. They made their boba in-house, so I'm expecting this to be like, when it comes to the pearl part. Confidence? <laughs> oh, I got some spillage. Confidence okay. is not key. Okay. Okay. Cheers. I'm gonna mix it up a bit. Mmm. Those pearls are good, very chewy. It's interesting because like when you see the pearls up close, they seem a little more like translucent than oh, opaque. Yeah, you're right. So maybe that's what happens when it's like freshly made. <laughs> I feel like this one like blends really well together, the flavors. It's not like too contrasted. It's almost that like a nice warm, feely, sin by the fire kind of caramel. This by far, like the flavor of the brown sugar is mm. the strongest, the boldest. And the pearls are like super soft. Super and like soft absorbed chewy. that mm -hmm. brown sugar flavor. This is good. This is real good. Ooh, third time's the charm. Just finished our boba adventure. We went to three places. Can you list them for us one more time? We have Yifang, Xing Fu Tang, and also Wanzo. After a long day of just trying out all three places, we picked our favorites. Yes. Are you ready? Three, two, two one. Wanzo. Okay, okay, okay. You listen. I see what we're doing here. 
Why was one of your favorite? I really liked how all the three elements of the fresh milk, the brown sugar, and the handmade pearls really worked well together as a whole. I totally agree with you. And I think just like the handmade aspect of it really sealed the deal for me. The pearls were super like soft and chewy and just the right amount of texture. And it had that very saturated, dark brown sugar taste. All right, Emma, thank you so much for taking me all around Vancouver and taking me to the best boba shops. Pleasure's all mine. Um, I wouldn't have done it with anyone else but you. I learned so much. I'm gonna go lay down. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna hand over all the leftover boba to my boyfriend now. So. All right, well, I'll go head out. we'll see you again soon. Okay, hugs. Bye. Oh! oh. Bye. <laughs> Check out the goods. Gonna go back. Bye. Have fun. Bye.